The disappearance of Melinda Ford. The disappearance of Melinda still remains an unsolved history. It's a cold case file. Oral history as told by the elders is that she was an unlisted passenger aboard the Titanic. She was traveling as a personal caregiver with a European contractor. April 1912, the Titanic hit an iceberg. I thought about jumping overboard since Melinda, but uh, I, 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 I was too scared. Then I thought about sliding down the ropes, but oh my God, my God, they were shooting at all black faces in sight, nor would they give us life jacket. Then the water forced me into the sea. I swam towards the European lifeboat, but they pushed me away. Then a big large wave grabbed me, and it forced me. It twisted me around like I was dancing. Of course, my ancestors continued to search. They used dancing to tell the stories. They told it through folks war. They told it through history. They danced and they danced. And they continue to search and search for me, but I remain lost at sea forever. But you know what? Our ancestors always come back to tell. You can't keep our history hidden from us. <laughs>
rest in power, Kiki Jabbar. This is by way of Empress Radio. It's by way of Empress Radio. This is Black Titanic, and whoever inboxed me and gave me the obituary, uh, I, I, I appreciate it, you guys. This is the reading of Kiki Jabbar's obituary, right? This is from the husband. Nakisha Jabbar, Janelle Jabbar, my BG, my love. That's the nickname they had. I think it means Big Greek. But anyway. Those two had that nickname, Big G. From the moment we bonded, it's coming from the husband. From the moment that we bonded over our love for Michael Jordan and good food, our lives intertwined in ways only we understood. You see, you dreamed of becoming a talk show host while I agreed to coach Major League Baseball team. Our relationship thrived on sarcasm, a humor that others didn't understand, y'all. They didn't grasp it, but it was uniquely ours. You were stunningly beautiful, brilliant, smart, and boldly hero. Your elegance and fearlessness inspired me every day day and yes she was very fearless we affectionately nick nicknamed each other big g big greedy <laughs> a testament a testament to our shared joys and appetite for life oh god i am devastated just devastated over by your absence Coming home without you feels unimaginable. Coming home without you feels unimaginable. Unimaginable. Oh, our love, our unique language transcends all else. We'll banter over trivial things like the humor of Claire Huxtable, light skin, insisting. We talk about her being light skinned. You passionately defending her karma complexion, just like yours. Oh, the pain. Oh, the pain. The pain I feel is unbearable. Writing this brings uncontrollable tears. I'm shattered. Oh, the pain. The pain I feel is unbearable. Writing this brings uncontrollable tears i'm shattered oh i got to say it over the pain i feel is unbearable writing this brings uncontrollable tears i am shattered 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 to my core i'm shattered to my core yet i know there must be a higher power I know there must be a higher power because no mere mortal could endure this alone. Oh, the pain, the pain I feel is unbearable. But Nakisha, my queen, Nakisha, my queen, please watch over us and kiss my mom for me, Keisha. Your brilliance has even caught the eye of the New York Times. They want to tell your story. Rest peacefully, my love. Rest peacefully, my love. You'll forever be my superstar. Sign, he's got that to his wife. And he says, bye, big boy. Oh, the pain, the pain he feels for losing his wife. We're going to move it on, you guys.
So these are the beautiful siblings. Kiki, our beloved sister, your presence and your energy, though sometimes attacking, were infectious. You embodied leadership, trailblazing spirit, sassiness, beauty, relentlessness, humor, and love. Your impact on our lives is indelible and we cherish, I mean, we cherish the memory you left with us. Thank you for always leading the way with all our love, your sibling. So I just love this picture. Mom and daughter, Kiki and her mom is cunning, looking like sisters. But she wrote, in honor of God, I honor God, use me as a vessel. God used me as a vessel to give my daughter life. Keisha, you were the smartest in, in our heart. You were the amethyst in my heart and a jewel in it to our soul. Your strong will should challenge us. Oh, yeah. Your strong will will could challenge us. Your timelessness could frustrate us. But, but your smile, that beautiful smile, with those deep dimples will melt our heart. Who could stay mad at you? Yes. I remember your first one hundred in a your first one hundred in a spelling test, and the start of your impeccable academic achievement. It started your academic achievement. Debating with you was a losing battle. You were a great debater, and recently expressed thinking about going back to school to become a lawyer. Whoa. I cheered you and said, yes, yes, watch out, Supreme Court. Here come my daughter, the lawyer. As you ventured through life, you hit a rough path and spoke openly about your journey. Though God's, yeah, she did. She was very open about her journey, you guys. Yes, she did. Yes, yeah, she she opened she opened up, and she was just an open book, you guys. So let me see. Though God, though God grace and mercy, through God's grace and mercy, you were able to educate others about your battle. Yes, He did. You will be missed, my daughter, but your memory is wedged deep in my internal soul. I could never take your place. Oh, wow. Yeah, she could never take your place. Yes. I could never take your place to be the mother to your kid. But, and, but I'm a glamour. My job will be to shower them with unconditional love. Love, mom. Yes, God used Miss Cunny as a vessel to bring this girl on this earth. And though her journey was 42 years, right? She was an open book. Yes, I'm so glad you got to do your TV. Like you said, you wanted to be on TV and your dreams did come true. Mom. So this is from dad. This is so beautiful, you guys. Oh, Dad must be devastated. But he wrote, in the quiet of the night, a whisper phase, a bond once strong, now lost in shades. Your laughter echoes in the corridors of my mind, memories woven, moments interwined. Oh, oh, my daughter with eyes that held the stars, your absence now a silence, aching scars. In fields of dreams, we dance without a care. Now I wonder, lost in sorrow, endless stare. 
Yes, daddy. Yeah, daddy, daddy got, he know he got this poem good. A, a part of me forever wrapped in your embrace. A journey paused, a hard and fragile grace. Yet, though the tears that cloud my view, I find solace in the love we knew. For you were a gift, my daughter. Oh, my daughter, you were a gift. Oh, my daughter, you were a light so bright. Now a star that guides my darkest night. And though apart, your spirit forever near, in every heartbeat, you remain so dear. Oh, until we met again, daughter, until we meet again. Oh, daughter, until we meet again, beyond this earthly shore, I'm carrying your love forevermore. Love, Dad. That's so beautifully said. So what's so amazing how good God was to Kiki. She got a chance to um see the sun graduate. And what happened to me is that I saw her because my little nephew graduated also. And she blew that kiss at me from a distance. And then it just blew my mind when I seen that same kiss that same pose on the obituary. But to the oldest son, I couldn't read what he had wrote. He wrote a lovely letter to his mom, but it was just so light I couldn't read it. But this is from the mommy, from the children. We love and miss you. We love and we, we miss you dearly, mom. Your beauty and organization were always admired. Sometimes we got upset with you, but we know it was always for our own good. Your love and care shaped us into who we are today, forever in our hearts, Aubrey and Ace. Yes, yes, darling. And, um, Mom hears you. And then this is what I remember this graduation. She she was so proud. She said, go shine like the star you are. I have to thank everyone who helped us rear this boy. We did it. We did it. We did an amazing job. I owe this to my grandparents. Yes. She always spoke highly of her grandparents. But this is she. Speaking from the grave, y'all, how proud she is of the next generation coming up, which was her son that graduate. Of course, daddy's going to always be there. Dad, good, good dad. You guys didn't have the opportunity to see this, but I sure did enjoy having her as my Facebook friend because I got the opportunity to see dad and mom. That's Kiki, Professor Kiki, and Coach Amen. I got a chance to see them with the family dynamics. And I always used to say, I wish I could see this on Love and Mary Chuncio, but it never makes the show. Well, children, shine. Keep shining, children. Keep shining because your mother likes shine, right? Your mother likes to shine it down on you guys. Always going to shine on you. And I know that you love your mom. And to the young man that graduate, I do thank you. Love you.